comic book talk. This week we're doing Justice League issue, no justice issues three and four. Y'all see it right here. Just finished reading them. Sorry we missed last week. I know we were supposed to do it every week, but I actually really forgot it was Memorial Weekend and you know families and cookouts and stuff. That's so nice. But we're back now. Issues three and four. So we're gonna get right to it. Dan, Dan the man. I can't think of any other nicknames. Oh. <laughs> First of all, let's start with issue three. What you think? Uh, issue three was just um, it was one of those kind of issue, issues where it just kept it, it continued the story to tell the story, and um, just yeah, where it just picked up where it left off and continued the story. There was no the issue was no big surprises for me. It was no uh, like ooh ah moments. It's like uh, that point in the story where it's like all right, here's a story. We got to keep it going. We we got to lead into the next point. So. That's how I felt about the the issue as a whole. What you think about the issue? Yeah, pretty. I mean, you kind of just took the words out of my mouth, so I'm gonna just rearrange them <laughs> to make it seem a little better. It was it could take. Damn. I, it, was, it was decent. You know what I'm saying it wasn't a game changer. Like weird. You know what? Put it like this. It wasn't like DC Metal where every every issue was like, oh my god, yes. It was not like that. It was like, all right, this is good, but you know setting it up for the new Justice League one, which we already knew that because Scott Snyder has said it publicly on Twitter, Instagram, to us in an interview, to our face movie, we just met him at uh, AwesomeCon, legitimately said it, like this is leading up to something much better. And I guess when you write such greatness as DC Metal to come back and write Justice League, it's not going to be, I mean, every, you're human. It's not going to be as good, but it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not DC Metal. Which is going to be hard because I don't think we'll have anything DC Metal for a long time. In this episode, the team realizes that they got... Episode. Uh, that's it, episode? In this issue, uh, <laughs> issue three, on the cover with the Wonder team, the Team Wonder, um, they're the ones... They're, they're on the cover because this is the team that helps everybody else get to the next level. Like, Brainiac's uh, suits that he basically put on all the heroes are like dampening their real ability and all of their, um, their powers and stuff. And Team Wonder is the team basically that fights through that. They outdo his suits and everything. One to, person outdoes their suits. And, well, yeah. <laughs> the person with the word Wonder in their name. Wonder Woman. She, uh, with the, she pretty much just, just showed that you are, the power is in you. You're on that team because it's in you. Hey, all right, you're it. a hero for a reason. All right, this one guy cannot stop you. Okay, you are more. You are more than just a title. You are the magic. You are wonder. You are entropy. You are wisdom. It, this is what you are. So be that. That's basically what happened, and it was cool to see that because for some reason, like the heroes were like negative in this. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I was like, yo, what in the world? Like. You to be you fighting Omega Titans. No, no, you didn't actually fight the Titans. When you, you were, see the, you see an Omega Titan, you're like, dang. And then, but you like, didn't have to deal with that. You were broken up into teams, and you had to deal with this particular situation. And the right way to kill uh, and every Starfish, uh, Starro. Oh my God, he was negative too. Oh, I can't do this. I'm like, you conquer planets. What are you talking about? You're on this one little situation and you're scared of a little situation. I was like, get out of here, dude. No, they had one little thing they wanted him to take care of right then and there. Which was the old back to a mega titan. Yeah. So that's what? not a little thing. It's a situation. And he's not a hero. You wanted to create you wanted to take over the universe. You went from planet to planet taking over planets. And now all of a sudden you're nervous? But get out of here, bro. The man who made the planets. Man, get out of here. I don't care. Alright, so what you think about the artwork? It was okay. Like, it was weird because it was certain things in here that looked like, I was like, oh, that's good artwork. And then stuff like that, where I was like, and like that, I was like, yo, why does that look cartoonish, yo? But then there's other parts up in here where it looks like, like, great. You see? Yeah, like, I see. Yeah, like that compared to that is completely different. Like, their artwork flip flop. Like, it's weird. Like, the, the artwork literally flip flop. Like, yo, come on, man. What is going on, people? Like, yeah, it was typical DC 
Justice League artwork. And then it got cartoonish, yo. It started, actually started out cartoonish. Yeah, it started out cartoonish. And then it got like real, more realistic. I was, I, which is cool though, because it's like a slow build up to like, yeah, everybody's down and sad and everything. And now they're heroic and everything, they're back to their normal selves. That's what it felt like. And that actually, that's what it looked, it literally, that's what it literally what it looks like. Like if I could show you these two, these two pictures I just showed him, like, it's literally what it looks like. Like DC, I don't know what y'all were doing, but that's what y'all, that's what you did. So is that page? I forgot what page. When uh, Cyborg is connected, connecting himself into the, uh, uh, the tree. The tree, was it the tree of wisdom? Yeah. That page, that's the page he's looking on, issue three, when Cyborg connected, it's a full page, and he put, he's, Pacific, what's the word I was trying to say? Specifically. That word I could never pronounce. It's talking about Harley Quinn and the way she looks. And then you flip to the next one. That is back to both of those pages. You flip to the next page and they show the Omega Sight. Like four or some pages. Like four, four or five. Or the next, actually, the next time you see them, it's like the next time you see them, yeah, they're drawn as they should be. It's the weirdest thing. I, I felt the same way, especially when I saw Wonder Woman. Like, I was like, this is, I mean, again, I'm never gonna say somebody's artwork is bad. I just won't say that. But to, that, that way they do Wonder Woman is not for me. This is an issue number for three. I, I was sitting there like, no, this this looks like something that you would put on a kid's cartoon. You know what it kind of reminded me of? Like a, just a, a slightly updated version of the New Frontier. The way that you want to sit mm. I mm. like, Yes. I was like, this is not. Yes. It's not for me. And the new Frontier artwork was not for me. It was, was not, for not for nobody, because they never went back to that style of artwork again. They made it a movie, though. Yeah, they did, because they thought, you know, we're going to do something experimental. Some, somebody sweet talked to them. Somebody had swag. It was like, yo, check this out. This art style is nice. We should try it. Put it on a movie. They did it. Didn't work out. That's issue number three. Go, now we're going to move on to issue number four which was the conclusion of Justice League No Justice, which was really, in my opinion, was just a huge, was a conclusion to the Omega Titan story and a huge uh, setup for what Scott Snyder has in store. Him, Mr. Tillian, and I can't, who's the other? Because it's gonna be three Justice League books. It's those set up, it's setting up for all three of them, because so, it's supposed to be three different teams and then they coming together to face another abnormally huge story. It's like building over time. It's a slow burn. Slow burn. Like drip. Like my man Pusha T, they're going to pull back the onion real slow on it. Real slow. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. <laughs> so what do you think about issue four? Issue four, okay. So issue four. Wow, that was a change. Issue four was, was cool because they gave you how they resolved the situation. Oh, y'all already know this is spoilers. How they resolved the situation was quite interesting for me. I was like, oh, okay. So they put the energy, they took the seeds from the tree because the seeds from the tree were what created and gave they were like a signal. They were getting off the signal, signal or whatever. But they took them and incorporated, they took a seed from one tree, the tree that was mostly going to get eaten from that planet, which was from Earth. Earth was, which planet was Earth? Which tree was Earth? It, it was, uh, was it? I, I, it's the E word. Entropy? Yeah. Okay, so Earth was entropy. I'm not sure. It, it was entropy. We'll check. We're going to double check though. But nonetheless, it was, let's say, let's say for instance it is entropy, and they took that seed and then took that yeah, seed and went to all the other trees, the seeds for all the other trees, and used uh, a person who had, who was uh, 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 that connected to that tree and used them to power and bring in their wonder or their, or whatever they were it's part wisdom. of, wisdom, and bring some of that energy into that seed. And then they took that seed, shot that seed into the, the Titan who was eating Earth, gave him that, and he, and when he digested that seed, it had, it had the taste of all the other uh, uh, trees. Beacon. It's like a beacon. Yeah. You must put a beacon in, into the, uh, into, into the seed. Nah, yeah. And when, and when they ate the seed, the other the other titans ate him. That's the end result. The other end result is 
while he was trying to feed, while the one Titan was trying to feed on Earth, when they gave him the seed, the seed filled his belly. And then the other Titans felt the immense amount of, of their, of their uh, particular skill set or whatever, and they decided to eat, feast on him. So that would feed them for millennia so that they wouldn't run into this problem for a millennia uh, until, uh, you know, long after they're gone and stuff. I thought that was cool. That was a cool idea how to beat them and everything. It took a while and everything. Unfortunately, the conclusion of uh, three, which we forgot to say, was the destruction of Kulu. So, Brainiac's home planet is gone. Brainiac 2.0 was trying, was uh, in issue four, was trying to Speed up destroy planet. Earth because his planet was destroyed. And all the information that was uh, collected in Brainiac and all of that is Brainiac. He tried to get back. He mostly got back and Amanda Waller had it. And so at the end of issue four, Amanda Waller has like majority of all of Brainiac's knowledge. She, has all of it. she does have all of it. And then Brainiac 2.0 had a piece of it, and then Cyborg had access to it. I hope we saved some of it, you know, that's a lot of knowledge and everything. And we're not really sure what happened to all the planets that... They all grew in size, and they're all pretty much next to each other. Oh, that's going to be another. crazy. It's going to be a future, which is a setup, low-key a Snyder setup in the future, for when those planets actually get to regular size that he conquered many of years ago, over the years, all the players that he's conquered over the years are going to be in one system. So there, there's going to be turmoil and stuff. It's going to be amazing. You can set up a whole new Just League and space said, team. And a, a major thing with this, where they set up, they said the Omega Titans were um, to ease, uh, what's the word they said? It's to balance the cosmos. Mm. So it's too much oh, light yeah. to come and destroy it, so, so to speak. And now that they're, they're going to be done for a millennium, now, this, the way I read the book, I could be wrong, but now Justice, the Justice League is taking that place. And I'm reading this right. I don't know, that's one way to look at it. You know, it literally says, the rules that have been kept the cosmos order for generations are gone, and the new Justice League is going to take its place. So, with that being said, I want to know, the Justice League is not going to kill. You got Superman and Wonder Woman. They, they just, and Mash Brown, they're just not going to allow you to kill to kill. So, there will be, it's gonna be some hard choices ahead, I, I presume, for the Justice League. We're building a cosmic universe with that. That's literally the building of a cosmic universe. Because they with all those planets set free, like somebody's got I just can't see they they still have yet to close the source wall, stop his bleeding. Yep, and that's the other thing that happened. they the source wall is still and maybe it's not a big enough band-aid. Cy Cyborg put this like he put it all in perspective in one piece of dialogue where he literally said, they were talking about, it all seems a little crazy. He's like, crazy? This all happened because Batman went to the edge of the universe, cracked open the source wall. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, Bat, if you just like really overthink it, like Batman is really the villain in all this. It's not a villain. I, and I say, if you overthink it. I said, <laughs> well, let me say, if you overthink it, Batman is the villain because he, he's a source. I put it like this, he's the, he's the virus that's causing, causing the symptoms. Because he, Cracked. He's the reason why most of got cracked. Different bat, uh, Batman from the dark side of the universe, I like to call it, but it's really the yeah. yeah. new 52, the negative 52, into the into our universe. All of this is happening, all because of Batman. This, and Batman's supposed to be the greatest guy, or well, greatest non superpower hero ever. So, this is, it's like a low key, really, really good story. That sets up, that you know it's gonna set up like a excuse me, pun intended, a mega level story. This is just gonna be amazing. What are you looking for? What did he exactly say? Was it this issue or three? You file it, man. Oh, no, no, keep talking. That's it. Oh, that's it? Dad, stop. Oh, no, no, leave stop. the book alone. Leave the book alone. Ah. Okay, fine. So, yeah. So, what do you think of the artwork? Four issue through four. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. It was just fine? fine. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. It's better than issue three's uh, first half of that. So, yeah. That first half of it looked just so cartoonish. 
just not pod for God's sake. But yeah, that's it for us here. Those are review issues three and four, no justice. Be back next week as we're gonna be start reviewing Justice League. I can't wait. Scott Snyder got his hands on that. So many, it's just so much great stuff coming out of DC. You know, The Man of Steel, Michael Bennett's writing that. Batman, Catwoman getting married. Super Saiyan starting from issue one again soon. Oh, it's just so much. There's the options stuff. out there, people. Go to your it's local comic book store, people. Doomsday Clock came out, issue number five, finally. All over the place, man. Yes. It's a lot to read, people. Okay. okay. All right, so, man, that's it for us here at Real Comic Book Talk, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit the like button, tell all your friends, man. We're gonna try, we try to do three videos a week and you know, let something abnormally amazing or devastating happen. Y'all stay tuned, man. Till next time. Peace. We out.